Hi my dear dudes, welcome to another one more nursing role play section. Today, we will see a scenario in the hospital ward. You are speaking to a 45 year old woman, who has been admitted to the hospital, with a suspected stroke. You have been, asked by the doctor, to administer a warfarin injection, that is anticoagulant, to the patient. This is a known environment, that means, you are already familiar with the patient. So, during 3 minutes preparation time, you need to ask the interlocutor, how you can address him or her. Then start with a casual introduction. Let us move to the role play. Good morning Mrs. Rose, how are you feeling right now? I hope everything is okay with you. Yes sister, thank you, I am feeling better now. I am glad to know that. Mrs. Rose, I am here to administer you, a warfarin injection. Which known as anticoagulant, to prevent blood clotting for you, which is instructed by your physician. Okay sister, no problem. Before proceeding with injection, may I ask you some questions, if you don't mind? Yes of course you can. Well, Mrs. Rose, may I know, do you have any medical problems, and, are you on any medications? I don't have any significant medical history except, polycystic ovarian syndrome, for which I am taking herbal supplements right now. Well, after this injection, your physician has prescribed warfarin in tablet form, which is necessary for you to take daily for the next four weeks. Are you okay with that? And, Mrs. Rose, I would like to suggest you to hold your herbal medicine, until the completion of warfarin therapy. Do you think you can hold that? But, sister, really I don't want to hold it. Because for long time, I am taking this medicine, and I am getting better result for my condition. Is it okay to continue both medicines together? I am so sorry to tell you about this option Mrs. Rose, but no need to worry. You could check with the doctor, if you want to continue it. Because, it may interfere with warfarin, or there may be the chance to cause any side effects. So, I am strongly recommending you, to talk with your concerned physician about the choice, when he will come for daily rounds. Are you following me Mrs. Rose? Oh really, okay then, I will ask my doctor about it. Fine. In addition, I would like to provide you some information, regarding precautionary measures, about warfarin. Can I proceed with that Mrs. Rose? Of course sister, you can. Well, please try to minimize vitamin K in your diet. And avoid over-the-counter medications, such as paracetamol, due to their interaction with warfarin. In addition, it is essential for you to take the medicine dose at the same time each day. Have you got my point Mrs. Rose? Any doubts in that? Yes, I got your points, but, I don't know, what all are vitamin K rich foods? No need to worry Mrs. Rose, I will provide you, a information leaflet, on warfarin. Which includes all instructions, even regarding, foods with vitamin K. How does that sound? I will appreciate your advice sister, I have another one more doubt, my dad also used to take this warfarin before, and it made him to nose bleed, I am worried, maybe I will get same issue. I can truly understand your concerns Mrs. Rose. No need to worry about that. It is very rare incidence. And can happen, if you are taking any other medications along with warfarin. As I told you earlier. Maybe there is a chance for, that medicine to interact with warfarin, and can cause bleeding. In your case, if you stop herbal medicine after physician consultation, I am assuring you that, nothing will happen. Meanwhile, I am suggesting you to, stop warfarin, if you notice any unusual or prolonged bleeding. And please contact your GP, as early as possible. Hope it is clear for you. Okay sister, thank you for your explanations. I hope, I will stop my herbal medicine until the course of, warfarin therapy, I don't have any other concerns. I am appreciating your decision Mrs. Rose. If you don't have any other concerns, may I proceed with warfarin injection? Yes sister, you can. Thank you Mrs. Rose. I hope, you have enjoyed this role play. Keep politeness throughout your presentation. Keep clarity in your explanations. Maximum try to involve your patient's concerns also while explaining, because you are talking to patients or relatives, not to a medical professional. We will see you with, another informative role play. Until then take care.